ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. And it's time once again to put that power to the test here on K-Check. Attorney Gabby Concepcion at ito ang K-Check. Today, we'll be looking for the last daily winner who will join us in tomorrow's weeklies, which is also the last one before our semis and our grand finals. Isa kaya sa mga kalahok natin ngayon na magiging bagong K-Check champion natin? Well, titingnan natin. Narito ang mga dadaan sa ariting karunungan check sa araw na ito. Unang-una, si Dayan. Dayan is a speech pathology student from UP Manila. She loves watching series, reading books, and writing novels and poems. She also loves to listen to K-pop, and her ultimate K-pop favorites are N- and Seventeen. Nandito rin si L, who is a public administration student in UP Diliman. She likes to read manhwas and fantasy novels, and loves to do arts and crafts. She's also ARMY, a fan of the K-pop boy group, BTS. Si Jay naman is a speech pathology student from UP Manila. He enjoys watching survival, reality, and game shows, so much so that he made his own versions of these in school and with family. He is also a big K-pop fan and stands 17, New Jeans, and Kang Daniel. Dav is an education study student of UP Open University. His hobbies are watching movies, exploring cafes, and playing online games. His favorite song is State of Grace by Taylor Swift. So ito pong apat na to, I will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. Siyempre ang mga suki natin, nandito lahat. Unang-una, UP Diliman Department of Art Studies Chair Assistant Professor Sofia Guillermo. Nandito din si Professor Neil Santillan, former chairperson of the UP Diliman Department of History. And last but not least, Assistant Professor Marla Endriga of the Department of Biology of UP Manila. At ngayon, contestants, it's time for our first round. Sa round na to, correct answers are 10 points each. So, just get ready to buzz in and collect those points. What are we waiting for? Let's begin. This is round one. Contestants, question number one. What type of animal is fuzzy in the Muppet Show and the Muppets movie? Yes, Jay. Pig. The answer is incorrect. Ibang generation na yata ang nanood ng Muppet Show at Muppets movie. So the correct answer is bear. Question number two. In June 2024, what Asian country sent hundreds of balloons of trash to its southern neighbor? Diane. China. China is incorrect. L. South Korea. The answer is incorrect. Dad. North Korea. North Korea is the correct answer. North Korea sent balloons of, I think, sewer water to South Korea. So the correct answer is North Korea. K-check. Question number three. What COVID variant was detected in the Philippines in May 2024 that has a name identical to a word that means to behave as if attracted to someone, although not seriously. Dayan. Flirt. Variant. Flirt is the correct answer. K-check. Question number four. Which song by Adele? Parang nobody mentioned Adele earlier as a favorite singer. Which song by Adele has a title that means getting close and dependent, especially in a romantic relationship? The correct answer is, at ngayon ko rin lang nalaman na yun pala ang ibig sabihin nun, rolling in the deep. Oh, you were today years old when you found out that's what rolling in the deep means. Question number five. On June 9, 2024, Charlie Dizon was married to which actor? 
Yes, Diane. Carlo Aquino. Charlie Dizon was married to Carlo Aquino who was nominated for his role in the film Goyo, Ang Batang General. The correct answer is Carlo Aquino, K. Chet. Question number six. Earl Grey is a type of which popular beverage? J. T. T is the correct answer, K. Chet. Question number seven. On June 5, 2024, the Boeing Starliner spacecraft conducted its first crewed flight of two astronauts to the ISS. What does ISS stand for, J? International Space Station. International Space Station is the correct answer, K. Check. Question number eight this time. MIT is one of the most prestigious schools in the United States, boasting of 101 Nobel Prize awardees among its faculty, researchers, and alumni. What does the M in MIT stand for, J? Massachusetts. Massachusetts is the correct answer, K. Check. Question number nine. What Southeast Asian nation is composed of more than 17,508 islands? J. Indonesia. Indonesia is the correct answer, K. Check. Buti hindi mo sinabing high tide or low tide. Question number 10. In basic math this time, what number is 3 fourths of 48? J. 36. 36 is the correct answer. K. Check. Question number 11. Which American singer released her third studio album, Hit Me Hard and Soft, in May 2024? Diane. Billie Eilish. Billie Eilish is the correct answer. K. Check. And question number 12, and the last question for this round, in which European city can you find the Colosseum, Palatine Hill, and the Pantheon? J. Rome. Rome is the correct answer, K. Check. And that's it for the first round. And after that round, we have Jay in the lead with 60 points, followed by Diane with 30 points, Dav with 10 points, and El with a little bit of catching up to do. So, eto na po, bago tayo magpatuloy, ang favorite portion natin dito sa K. Check, ang portion na tinatawag natin, K. Chica. Ito ay ang paborito namin kasi nga nalalaman natin um, a little bit more about our contestants. And they always give us little tidbits about themselves that make it worth our while to ask them. Diane, diba? what career is in the future for a speech pathology student? Um, marami po actually, pero um, usually clinics um, with kids or with adults. And then merong hospital setting for adults din. And then, pwede rin po kami sa schools. So, school-based SOPs that will work with teachers and other educators. Pwede din po sa community. So, collaborating with different stakeholders for the health and well-being of people. And naisip mo na ba kung alin ang particular kind of work that you want to do um, as a future speech pathologist? Maybe school-based and community. Especially community kasi I feel like marami pa yung in need of speech pathology services na hindi pa naaabot. So, yun, dun po ako feel ko. Ang sarap talagang kausap ng ating mga contestant. Ngayon naman si L. L, anong klaseng arts and crafts ang pinagkakaabalahan mo ngayon? And ano bang nakakreate mo with your arts and craft skills? Actually, work with different kinds of materials from fuzzy wires to crepe papers and wood, metals. So, uh, minsan depende sa parang may isip ko na uh, work and minsan wala siyang mismong form and function parang kung ano lang yung may isip and uh, recently yung ginagawa ko is more on paper flowers and ano uh, I'm trying to create a business din uh, na mag-sell din ng paper flowers so are they realistic looking paper flowers or are they yung artistic stylized flowers? Yes, actually, ano siya, uh, realistic looking. Kaya yung good thing about it kasi uh, real flowers na lalanta sila after some time. But if you use uh, paper flowers uh, na retain niya yung itsura niya talaga kahit after a long time. Mm -hmm. How interesting. I wish I had your 
talent in arts and, and arts and crafts because I don't have any. So anyway, maraming salamat, Diane and L. In the meantime, mag-uusap pa tayo mamaya. Jay and Dav, hindi kayo aalis at hindi rin kayo makakatakas. In the meantime, round two naman tayo. Susunod na po sa pagbabalik ng K-Chat. At tuloy pa rin ang ating karunungan check before we proceed isang points recap. Of course, we already know that Jay's in the lead with 60 points, followed by Diane with 30 points, Dab with 10 points, L with a bit of catching up to do. And syempre, as we threatened to do earlier, ipagpapatuloy natin ang ating paboritong segment dito sa K-Check, ang K-Chica. So Jay, paki-explain mo nga yung sinabi mo sa bio mo na gumawa or gumagawa ka ng sariling versions mo ng iyong paboritong reality at survival game shows with family and friends. Parang gusto kong sabihan, I'm thankful to be not part of your family. <laughs> Parang ginawa mo silang biktima, no? Opo. Opo. <laughs> Kasi po, ever since I was a child, um, uh, I watched a lot of shows sa TV and naengganyo ako sa yung competitiveness, yung parang energy na nabibigay ng shows na yun. So, and I also like yung mga puzzles, mga ganun. So, gumagawa ko ng sarili ko and then parang tinatest ko sa family ko or sa friends ko in school. And thankfully naman, nakikijoy naman sila. Hindi naman sila ano, tumatanggi na makisalip. Mga, mga games naman to. Opo. Hindi naman yung mga... Ang naiisip ko mga survival shows. <laughs> Hindi naman po. Napagapang mo sa isa ko eh. Hindi, Hindi naman. Hindi naman po. Hindi Hindi naman. Naman. Maraming salamat, Jay. Uh, what about you, Dab? Does education studies automatically mean that you want to be a teacher when you finish with your studies? Uh, actually po, yung education studies, medyo naglilin po siya more of sa curriculum development. So parang medyo administrative work po yung education studies. Pero pwede rin po kami mag-take ng licensure exams for teachers. So pwede rin naman po. And medyo... Hindi pa po ako ganun ka decided if magti-teacher ako or, or parang back office. Yeah. Meron ba sa pamilya mo na naging peg mo para maging administrator or maging teacher? Ah, uh, noon po. Uh, parang na parang nagkaroon lang po ako ng interest sa experience ko with my teachers and sa kanila lang po ako na inspire. Oh. In effect, ang sinasabi ni Dav, napakaswerte siya at magagaling ang mga teachers mo at naging inspiration mo sila. So maraming salamat, Jay and Dav. And now, dahil tapos na ang kay Chica, it's now time for round two. So contestants, get ready to buzz in. But this time, you need to make sure to strategize because in this round, correct answers are worth 20 points each. But you lose 10 points if you answer incorrectly. So let's begin. And this is round two. Contestants, question number one. The 2018 film Bohemian Rhapsody focuses on the life of which lead vocalist of the band Queen J? Freddie Mercury. Freddie Mercury is the correct answer. K check. Question number two. The OSG is the chief law officer of the Philippine government. What does OSG stand for? Diane. Office of the Solicitor General. Office of the Solicitor General is correct. Key check. Question number three. Which popular coffee-flavored alcoholic drink is Spanish for Aunt Mary? The correct answer is Tia Maria. So Tia Maria is a coffee-flavored... I, I thought it was... Tequila, hindi pala. No? Question number four. During what war did Anne Frank keep a diary that turned out to be an international bestseller, Diane? World War II. World War II is the correct answer, Kate Chet. Question number five. What is the name of the fictional masked vigilante created by Johnston McCulley who used his sword to carve the letter Z on his clothes? J. Zorro. Zorro is the correct answer. K-check. 
Question number six. What play of William Shakespeare has a title which is said to be bad luck to say for actors in a theater? The correct answer is Macbeth. It is said that mentioning Macbeth curses the production with accidents, deaths, injuries, etc. Question number seven. A moment like this and my life would suck without you are number one singles of which American Idol winner? Hindi niya ba naabutan si Kelly Clarkson? Question number eight. What is the name of the main antagonist played by Tobin Bell in the Saw movie franchise? The correct answer is Jigsaw or John Kramer. Have you watched any of the movies in the Saw movie franchise? Wag kayong mag-alala, ako din. Question number nine. In the card game Blackjack, what is the highest winning score that you can get? J. 21. 21 is the correct answer, K. Check. I was about to say, hindi niyo siguro alam kasi puro tong it's ang linalaro ninyo. So, K. Check. Question number 10. Complete the idiom that means in an obvious location with a part of the body. The idiom is right under your blood. Diane. Nose. Nose is the correct answer. K check. Question number 11. Atticus Finch is the main character in what novel of Harper Lee? J. To Kill a Mockingbird. To Kill a Mockingbird is the correct answer. K check. Question number 12 and the last question for this round. Which Southeast Asian country's team defeated Alas Pilipinas at the AVC Challenge Cup Women's Volleyball Championships at the Rizal Coliseum in May 2024? Diane. Vietnam. Vietnam is the correct answer. Kate check. Did you watch any of the volleyball games? Yeah. <laughs> Very good. And that's it for our second round. Kamustahin naman natin ang ating ranking ng ating mga contestants after that round. We have Jay in the lead with 140 points, followed by Diane with 110, Dab with 10, and L with a bit of catching up to 2. So hindi pa po tayo tapos dahil ultimate pagalingan na sa pagbabalik ng k -check. Welcome back to K-Check. Isang points recap muli. We have Jay in the lead with 140 points, followed by Diane with 110 points, Dab with 10, L with a bit of catching up to do. Pero meron pa tayong paparating na ultimate pagalingan round. So, tandaan ninyo contestants, sa round na to, sa ating panel of experts, manggagaling ang mga katanungan. At sa round na to, correct answers are worth 30 points each this time, pero... May 15-point deduction for wrong answers. Tandaan then for this multiple-choice round, we will accept the answer itself or the letter and answer, but not the letter only. So, handa na ba kayo? Let's go for those points and for the win. So, let's begin. And it's time for the ultimate pagalingan round. Remember, contestants, there are 360 possible points in this round, so it's anybody's game at this point in time. So let's start our ultimate pagalingan round, Prof. Sophie. Thank you, Attorney Gabby. Okay. Um, sana nagsock sa ito na kayo. <laughs> Plato's Republic, written around 375 BCE, advocated for the rule of philosopher kings who must be intelligent reliable and willing to lead a simple life on the other hand plato saw little social benefit in which group of people a artists b carpenters 
C. Scribes D. Priests E. Farmers Okay, so Plato saw very little use for artists in his republic because um, he, he thought of this world no, as a copy of an ideal and if you were an artist, you were just making another copy of a copy oh, so he didn't like artists much okay, so um, the answer is artists <laughs> Maraming salamat Prof. Sophie Prof. Neil This presidency saw the passage of key legislation such as the Generics Act, Local Government Code, and Women in Development and Nation Building Act. A. Corazon Aquino, B. Benigno Aquino III, C. Joseph Estrada, D. Gloria Macapagal Arroyo, E. Fidel Ramos. Ang finals, <laughs> rin pala yung tanong. Okay, dati pag nagpapariseta ka sa doktor, yung specific brand yung nilalagay ng doktor. So, game changer yung generics app. Dapat nandun yung uh, generics dapat sa riseta. So, panahon nito ng tamang sagot, letter A, Corazon Aquino. Maraming salamat, Prof. Neil. Na medyo malungkot ngayon si Prof. Sophie at saka si Prof. Neil. So, sana, ano, sana masaya si Prof. Marla. Prof. Marla? Sana nga, attorney. Okay. Which of the following instruments is used to measure electric current? A. Voltmeter B. Ammeter C. Thermometer D. Ohmmeter E. Barometer Ayan. Ammeter Oh, the correct answer is B, a meter. Okay, check. In response to my query, masaya si Prof. Marla at nasagot ang question niya. Tingnan natin kung masasagot ngayon ang question ni Prof. Sophie. Let's hope. In antiquity, the color purple was associated with royalty. In ancient Rome, it was the color of robes worn by emperors and later by bishops bishops in those days purple dye was extracted from a amethysts b eggplants c lavender flowers d shrimps e snails j C. Lavender Flowers Mali po Minus 15 points Okay, so they're all kind of purplish, no? And you know that shrimp, di ba they have this pinkish color? Di ba they're shrimp, no? Purple actually came from snails Yeah No, they would secrete this purple inky thing, no? And then it would take about 12,000 snails to make 1.5 grams of purple dye. No, so that's why it was so precious and expensive. So the correct answer is snails. Oh, malungkot pa rin si Prof. Sophie. But we learned something new from you today. Maraming salamat, Prof. Sophie. Prof. Neil. Harapa is a key city of which civilization? Diane? Indus? Pinasaya ako ni Diane. <laughs> okay, so, pero babanggitin ko yung ibang choices. A. Aztec, B. Indus Valley, C. Egypt, D. Mesopotamia, E. Persia. Tamang sagot, letter B. Indus or Indus Valley, K. Check. Oh. Ang saya ni Prof. Neil. <laughs> Prof. Marla this time. Okay. Homo sapiens and Zeya maize 
are the scientific names of human and corn, respectively? In what language are they? A. Old English B. Sanskrit C. Arabic D. Latin Diane. Latin Let me continue. E. Aramaic The correct answer is D. Latin K. Czech So that was the end of our second round, right? And after the second round, a points recap, we have Diane in the lead with 200 points, Jay with 125 points, Dab with 10, and L with a bit of catching up to do. So we still have 180 points, so puede pa. Prof. Sophie. Hey, thank you, attorney. Dito, liligaya na ako. <laughs> Unahan lang to. A choir is an organized group of singers composed of four main voices. Which one, which is not one of the four voices? A. Bass B. Tenor C. Soprano D. Vibrato J. D. Vibrato E. Alto D. Vibrato is correct. Okay, check. Tama ang ano mo, ang, ang pakiramdam mo, Prof. Sophie. Maraming salamat, Prof. Neil. Sana maka-dos na ako. Sana may makakuha ng pangalawang tanong ko. Sa Islam, ito ang tawag sa isa sa mga limang haligi ng kanilang pananampalataya na nakatuon sa pagbibigay ng limos sa mahihirap. A. Hajj B. Salah C. Saum D. Shahada E. Zakat Nauna na ang uh, ang ating bell sa pag-press mo ng buzzer. Sorry, Jay. Sobrang tentative si Diane. Gusto rin mag-press kanina pa. Okay. Okay lang bang malaman ano yung mga sagot nyo? Uh, Jay and Diane. Hajj po. Hajj. Diane. Zakat. Zakat. Sayang, Diane. Ang tamang sagot <laughs> kay letter E. <laughs> Zakat. <laughs> yung Hajj is that we... Is pilgrimage. That the pilgrimage, pilgrimage no? to, to Mecca. Mecca. Oh. Na marami daw ang... <laughs> namatay because of the extreme Tama. heat this oh, summer. Oh. Okay, maraming salamat Prof. Neil, Prof. Marla. What is the tail of a comet primarily composed of? A. Ice crystals B. Rock fragments C. Liquid water D. Hydrogen gas E. Ionized gas Sorry, Diane, pero nauna ang buzzer, ang ating bell sa pag-press mo ng buzzer. Ano sanang isasagot mo? Uh, ionized gas. Sayang. Ano ba yun? <laughs> Sorry. The correct answer is E, ionized gas. Maraming nasayang na point si Diane. Tingnan natin. We have one last uh, round of questions. Sana nakalid ka na ng husto, Diane. Pero, <laughs> it's not too late. We still have one more round to go. Prof. Sophie. Okay. Uh, I have a good feeling about this one. What church, originally built in 1621, was destroyed by earthquake in 1863 and 1880? The redesigned structure was inaugurated in 1891. Today, it stands as one of the few churches in the world made entirely of steel. What is the name of this church? A. Notre Dame Cathedral B. St. Peter's Basilica C. Quiapo Church D. San Sebastian Church E. La Sagrada Familia 
Ito yan. Notre Dame Cathedral? Mali po! <laughs> Sebastian in Manila. Uh -huh. okay, now malungkot. you know. Now you know. Well, after that question, Diane is still in the lead, but with 185 points, followed by Jay with 155 points, and with 60 points to go with the last two questions. Prof. Neil. Muhammad Adi Gina is the founding father of what? South Asian country. A. Bangladesh. B. India. C. Nepal. D. Pakistan. E. Sri Lanka. Diane. Sri Lanka. Bale. Naku. 170 points si Diane ngayon. Sri Lanka, um, Buddhist majority country. So, ang hinahanap natin, Muslim majority country. Ang tamang sagot ay letter D, Pakistan. Maraming salamat, Prof. Neil. Well, Diane has 170 points as against Jay's 155 points. And we have our last possible 30 points from Prof. Marla. Okay. Which term refers to the joining of a woman's egg and a man's sperm in a laboratory dish? A. External fertilization B. Internal fertilization C. In vitro fertilization Diane. In vitro fertilization Let me finish reading the choices D. Gametogenesis E. Oviparity uh, the correct answer is C, in vitro fertilization. K-check. Yes, and that's it for our K-check ultimate pagalingan round. Congratulations to Diane, our last K-check daily winner with a final score of 200 points. We'll see her again tomorrow when she competes with our other daily winners for a spot in our semi-finals. Maraming salamat din kay L, kay J at kay Dab for joining us today. And of course, sa mga miyembro ng ating panel of experts, Professor Sofia, Professor Neil, and Professor Marla. I'm Attorney Gabby Concepcion. Join us again tomorrow for another round here on K-Check. Yeah.